I want to go over with you how to secretly get a girl's ring size and there are a lot of bad ideas across the internet. I want to give you some really good tips and practical tips so if you don't like one just wait because I'm going to give you plenty of tips on what to do. There are pretty much two steps to secretly get a girl's ring size. Step one, obtain something that can measure ring sizes and then the fun part, figure out how to get the ring or the size of the ring to measure it up on the ring sizer. Step one, you can either buy a very accurate ring sizer like this one, which I will link to below this video, or find an online ring sizer, which is still pretty accurate. Below this video in the description, I will link to an online ring sizer. Here is how you use it. You adjust the web page so the penny is the actual size of the penny on the web page. Normally you do this by pressing Control plus or Control minus to adjust the size of your screen to calibrate it. Once the pennies are the same size, your screen is calibrated and then you know the rest of the ring sizes will be accurate. Now that it's calibrated, then take whatever you used for the following steps that you're going to see in just a moment and match it to the closest ring size you see on the ring sizer page. You want the color to barely fill the inner diameter of the ring that you obtain or the sketch that you obtain and you'll see what I'm talking about later. Now, if you aren't gonna be near a computer, you can also print out the file on that web page and use it just the same. Or there's another option, you can print out that page and take the makeshift ring sizer there and uh, use it appropriately as you can see. If you're going to print it out, make sure the printer scaling is set to none. Then make sure the page is calibrated once again by matching the penny sizes. Now, if you want a physical ring sizer and you want one that's free, my favorite online engagement ring retailer is linked to below this video in the description. And I believe they offer free ring sizers that you can send back to them once you're done using it to get uh, your girlfriend's ring size. If you watch my other videos, you know why that website also has the most affordable and is the best place to buy uh, engagement rings and diamonds. Now let's get to step two, the fun part. Get the ring. Some of these tips are typical and some are not so typical. If you don't like one, just wait. You will find one that you do like. Tip number one. First, you have to set things up. Say she has a birthday, Valentine's Day, Christmas, or something like that coming soon. Tell her you never really know what to get her. Also mention to her when you do have a good idea, you never know what size of things to get her. Then, a day or so later, give her this downloadable page once again from below this video. It is a page for gift ideas and on it are things like her shirt size, her pant size, her favorite flowers, even her bra size, and so on and so forth. It just so happens about a third of the way down on the list is her ring size. Because it is lumped in with everything else and you've set it up and you personally didn't make it seem like this was the reason why you were giving it to her, uh, she is not likely to know that that is the for sure reason you're giving her this list. But what is great is that this gift idea sheet is really good for getting her future gifts as well. You can really throw her off if you buy her something from that list before you even get her the ring so she has no idea that that is actually the reason why you printed out the list. And so that is my first tip. Two, borrow a ring from her. If you can sneakily obtain a ring from her room and not get caught, that is probably the best way to get her ring size. You can also get someone in her family to take a ring from her ring collection. Once they do, just take that and match it up to the ring sizer that you either bought or downloaded from below this video. There's just one big caveat, and this is a must. You must make sure that the ring is one that she wears on her ring finger and not one she would wear, let's say, on her pinky or another one that might not fit as well. And sometimes the ring fingers are a little bit different on both sides. So this one is a tad risky, but you'll get a very good idea from that ring as long as it's the right finger. The next tips are ways to enlist one of her friends to help you out. 
and as long as you're not a jerk, they're mostly excited for you. There are two ways to do this. The first thing you can do is get the friend to go to the mall and talk with her about the possibility of getting engaged because let's be honest, they probably talk about lots of things. And then as they're talking about it and as things get a little bit exciting, they can say, hey, you know what we should do? We should just go try on some rings for fun. Then what you do is have that friend make note or at least a mental note of the size she would wear. My favorite part about this strategy is if they do this, you can get much more than just the ring size, but everything they want in a ring and a diamond as well. The color, the cut, the metal type, the, the, the style of the ring, everything. Then you can either take those notes or you can even have the worker set that exact ring that she wants aside. Even though I think mall jewelers are a huge ripoff, and you can watch my other videos on why I think that, you can either buy the ring from them or you can buy one just like it from the website below this video. Now, as a bonus, if that other friend happens to be dating someone as well, you don't have to have them talk about your engagement, you can talk and act like that girl is excited for her engagement and that she just wants to drag your girlfriend along to try on ring sizes for her friend. But really, you know it's for your girlfriend. I hope that made sense. The second way to use a friend is to have a group of friends that are getting lunch or something like that go out to eat and as they're talking, all of a sudden to try on each other's rings. And then your friend could just make note of the ring that best fits your girlfriend's finger. So once they make that note, you just get that ring for a couple moments and match it up on the ring sizer if you didn't already know her ring size. This next one is kind of nerve wracking and kind of fun. Here's what you do. Set up a night to watch a movie or a TV show or whatever. While watching TV, casually find a twisty tie, like for a loaf of bread, between the couch cushions that you obviously planted there earlier before the date. Now, mindlessly just kind of play with that twisty tie you found from a loaf of bread package that just happened to be in your couch cushions and that you happen to come upon. People normally just don't notice what they're doing and so she'll think you don't notice what you're doing and you're just playing with the twisty tie. So then twist it around some of her fingers and eventually twist it around her ring finger and make sure it can slide off of the ring finger as you uh, tie it around the ring finger. Next, act like you're discarding the twisty tie. You gotta go to the trash can and throw it away, except for you're not really gonna throw it away. You're gonna drop it behind the trash can or around the side, but don't let her see that. Don't let her know that you dropped it to the side. So now she thinks you were just fidgeting with it. The twisty tie's thrown away. It's probably just all in her mind if she was even thinking of that in the first place. So now, after everything's done, you have the ring size, and all you have to do is take that twisty tie and match it up with one of the ring sizers, and there you have it. You have obtained the ring size. But it will take a lot of acting and being very nonchalant and selling that you're just mindlessly playing with the twisty tie. Now, a variation on that is you can kind of do the same thing, only just joke around with your girlfriend and fake a marriage proposal like, oh, ha, ha there's this twisty tie, and uh, here, will you marry me? And then you put it around her finger and quickly you have their ring size. And that way you're so obvious and so just joking around, she probably won't know that you're trying to actually get her ring size. Now warning, she may get mad at you for joking around about getting engaged, especially if she is frustrated that you haven't already proposed to her. So be very careful with that one. But uh, if she's got a really good sense of humor, I would definitely think about that one. Another fun date idea is go to a costume store or go to something like a Renaissance festival or something like that and look at cheap jewelry for your costumes. Maybe even buy her a cheap ring to be less suspicious. Then all you have to do is match that ring size if you didn't find out her exact ring size already when buying it to the ring sizer like I've already said. Pretty easy, yeah? Another nerve wracking option is just wait until she's asleep. Now, this is if she's a deep sleeper. What you do is you just get the ring sizer and be very careful slipping it on and trying to find the right size until it nicely slips right on and off of her finger. And that was quick and easy, but very nerve wracking in my opinion. 
Now you can always ask your girlfriend or have someone ask for you for the ring size, just ask her directly. But then she will know almost for sure that you're gonna be getting engaged soon. And what's the fun in that? At least try a risky option first, like one of these I've given you. It'll be a good story one day, even if it fails. And you can always resize it later, assuming you use a jewelry retailer that does free resizes, like the one I have linked to in the website below this video. Once again, they're amazing. If you are using a more iffy technique to get the ring size, then don't get a ring that is difficult to resize. Now you can watch my engagement ring styles video where I talk about what styles are more difficult to resize. Some styles like a full pave are very difficult to have resized. Also the website I like best for buying online offers free resizing and if you watch a lot of my other videos you will know they are better and less expensive which seems counterintuitive than all the other places to shop for diamonds and jewelry anyways. Watch those videos if you haven't already. Now one last tip, it is best not to check for ring sizes in the morning as our fingers tend to have swelled a little during the night and the ring size won't be accurate in the morning. So if you can, do it later in the evening. In my videos, I talk about purchases we make like health, travel, engagement rings, uh, home automation. So like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.